Today we are going to attempt to put together this tractor auger, put it on the tractor, put it to work and see what we can do with it. Let's go. Alright, good morning guys. Another great day out at Baruch Road. Nice and quiet. It's me and the birds today, so just got you on my phone, so the recording's a little bit sketchy, but I've had this auger sitting on the pallet it came with for um, a bit over a month now. I'm gonna finally put it together and um, get her on there and see if it'll cut through the, the limestone that we've got on this block. So the soil out here is pretty horrible. Uh, we've only got maybe a hundred mil of topsoil you can see over there where the earthworks have been done. And yeah, it's just pretty much rock underneath um, for a good meter. And then it just opens up into sand. So the plan was hopefully this will cut through some of that rock and um, we'll be able to backfill it with soil so we can replant some trees that'll actually grow. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. We might break it, but uh, if it does, we'll have to get a, a rock auger for that one there. But let's put it together and see how we go. So that's pretty much it. A couple of little quality control things that I noticed. You sort of half expect that with some cheap Chinese kits. So the O-ring on this sucker is broken. So I'll have to get a new O-ring for that there. Sort of see in there. And also these two hoses didn't come with correct fittings. So I need to get um, a couple of quick snap-on fittings like these ones so quick trip down to the shop get a couple of those and then um, we just got to fill this up with a bit of oil it's 80 90 gear oil they recommended just whack this cover on there's another one that just goes on here but i'm going to leave it off just while i'm assessing how it goes with this rock and those shear pins to retract my previous statement about missing these fittings i just dug through the big bag of goodies and found a couple of packets of uh Grid fit fittings. Chuck a bit of oil in this. Jerry rigged contraption going on. And, um, pump it until um, it comes out the bleeder. Must be getting close. Okay, looks like we're pretty close. Just get a little bit out and. Okay. Trying to film and do this at the same time is fun. And that is it. I think it took yeah about two liters. Let's um fire this bad boy up. I'm ready to give this a test. Filled up oil. Got the hydraulics hooked up. I'm gonna have a crack here. This is where our earthworks were. I'm not uh, holding my breath, but we'll wait and see.
Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Took a little bit to work out how to get it to uh, go up and down. This combo between that hydraulic strut and the actual three-point linkage up and down. So, just got to see what it was drilling through. It's a pretty hard limestone cap. Basically, just turned it into sand. But, um, so, so yeah, that's um, that's pretty good. A fair bit fell back in there. So it's probably like twice as deep as that, but it's hard to get it out because it's obviously just so loose sand. The main thing is it's got through the cap for what we want. We can backfill it with some good soil, put a tree in, and um, it's got somewhere to grow because uh, like these trees here have been planted almost five years ago, not even chest high. So <laughs> if we can uh, give them a good meter to grow down into and then they've got a bit softer sandy sort of soil there right down the bottom to spread their roots we should be in business that's a tick to the uhi auger uh yeah so it's been a couple of days since uh we did those first few holes didn't catch it on camera but slight disaster happened so <laughs> the process of like putting the auger back down into the hole and like starting it back up you know bringing it out stopped so you can flick all the dirt out um been having to like slightly move forward and backwards with the tractor to keep it going straight down and didn't realize I had it still in gear and um, I let the clutch out too far and the tractors just like lurch forward a little bit on me with the auger all the way down in the bottom of the hole that's like slightly bent the top half of the auger shaft so I had to go and uh, drop it off somewhere to see if they had a big press that they can straighten it um, but if we have a look here the press couldn't quite get it straight um, and they've just gone ahead and like basically cut it and re-welded um another piece of steel if anything it's probably going to be a bit stronger now because the steel they used is a lot thicker gauge i'm uh, about to hook it back up if you are uh, planning to get one of these augers just don't be a dickhead like me Yeah, I've got holes everywhere. So it's been going really well. Uh, just at the bottom of this hole here, looks like we put it to the limit. I've hit a bit of a rock or something and um, snapped the shear pins, which is what they're designed to do. So it saved anything else breaking. Just put a new bolt through um, and then I can just lift this one back out. Uh, hopefully it's not stuck, but it seems like it's pretty loose so I should just be able to lift it back up um, so it's good to know they work um, I'm just gonna have to make sure I've got a stockpile of these bolts so um, I don't have to run half hour into town but anyway pretty happy with the UHI auger it's gonna be put to its test over the next year because we've got to do well all this area and it's all the same limestone cap so Definitely going to probably wear that one out and go through a few more, but fingers crossed it'll help us plan up a decent bit of uh, forest. So, yep. Any questions, just leave a comment. Uh, if you liked the video, like and subscribe, all of that stuff. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.